We go now to this week's Business Review, where we take a look at the operators of a farm in Clarendon trying to make waves. Here's Deidre Thomas. If somebody told me that I would be doing farming now, I would, I would just laugh at them. This is the story of Lascelles and Natoya Ellis, two white-collar professionals who, through their green thumbs, have sprout LAE Farm, a name created based on the couple's shared initials. We have always maintained a thriving backyard garden and in 2019 when there was COVID-19 and also during that period I lost my job, we got to spend more time planting stuff and um, experimenting and you know with COVID we couldn't go anywhere. Uh, food prices, especially vegetable prices, you know, were skyrocketing and our friends and families, they got used to us just giving them things and so they were asking us to actually sell them produce. So the Ellis's managed to pool over 500,000 Jamaican dollars to move the venture from being just a hobby in their backyard to a full-fledged enterprise on eight acres of leased land in Clarendon. Now, their baskets are overflowing. What started as just one acre of sweet corn has blossomed to include carrots, yam, lettuce, sweet potato, and pumpkin. Their vision now extends far beyond the horizon. I am very interested in livestock farming, so that is something that I would want to get into as well. Um, poultry, goats, pigs, um, maybe even cattle as well. Despite having returned to the corporate world, this dynamic duo continues to plough the land and in harvest season, they hire up to 10 people to assist with the reaping. You can check out our Instagram page, uh, LAE Limited. Um, check out Instagram, there is contact information there. They can reach out to us on Instagram and we can make the necessary connections there to get them what they need. We want to partner with with the government really to execute the experiment because we don't want to be in investing money and then we're not going to increase our yield. Right now we're getting between 10 to 15 pounds of yam per hill. If we're going on the slope, we'd want to know we're getting upwards of 20 pounds per hill. The venture has faced more than its fair share of pestilences, including a suspected case of yam rust and challenges to access the farm. The road to get here is not the best and then when you eventually get to a point where you can park your vehicle, then you have a next 10, 15 minute walk, ups, downs, stones, mud. To get the, the produce off the farm, we either going to ask the workers to carry, which is a major challenge to them, or we use it, a donkey. But still... Can you see the joy on my face? It is so relaxing it is therapeutic i mean i can have a bad day I, I usually have migraine headaches and yes if i hold on my head it will get worse but let me tell you once these hands hit the dirt that's it for the business review i'm deja thomas